welcome to my channel the biology key the topic which we will be discussing today is the darwin's theory i know most of you are aware about this english biologist whose name is charles darwin he once upon a time went for a trip and saw various beautiful plants and animals around him and after going through the strip or you can say after observing such beauty of the nature he published a book named origin of species and this book was highly popular and about 1250 copies was sold in a single day this book origin of species was basically brought about to tell about the natural selection and this natural selection preaches about the survival of the fittest so let us see what it is all about and the most important thing which he covered was all the organism reproduce polyphically is nothing but producing fruits or young ones freely there is no objection or there is no uh, any sort of barrier in their reproduction this was the first thing which he kept in mind second most important thing which he considered in this theory was all organism compete with each other in a life threatening manner now this second point and the first point is all about the theory of natural selection the second one and the most important point here is that all organism compete with each other in a life threatening manner this is nothing but as we as an individual we are running one behind the other we are daily going through a competition to win over some other person the same thing is going on with the plants as well as animals natural selection plays a very important role here as this selects which are the fittest of all the one which are the winners or you can say the most fittest competitor will win over it and the fittest one will be selected naturally to reproduce and produce their offspring in a higher number a very common example which i'll be discussing here is the green and brown beetle if these beetles are living on the bark of the tree when this green beetles undergo reproduction they produce offspring and we all know that when the reproduction takes place there is chances of variation and due to the variation we find one brown color beetle growing in this population and here if you see this beetle is brown in color and so is the bark therefore this beetle can easily hide in this bark whereas the green beetles can be easily seen later on if these offsprings grow and reproduce they will produce more of the brown beetle instead of green and slowly and gradually after few crossing over you will find there is maximum of brown beetle now why this is happening this is happening because the green beetle was less adaptable than the brown beetle as they were easily detecting and attacking the green beetle as they were very well visible on the brown bark whereas the brown beetle were not at all visible due to which the population of brown beetle increase so this is all about the survival of the fittest the fittest of all the more adaptable 
the more compatible will organism will survive and they will be selected naturally the important thing here about the darwin's theory is that this theory was widely accepted by the people but there was a drawback about this theory of natural selection which was darwin was unable to tell us about the origin of variation he was not able to tell how the variation was brought out in the new offspring so because of this uh, theory was rejected but later on when the genetics were studied earlier the genetics were not known but after studying about the genetics this genetic plus this darwin's theory together produce a new theory which is called as the synthetic theory of evolution so this is all about the darwin's theory of natural selection thank you